Hello there! Welcome back to the control room. In the previous episode, we discussed how the early auto train consists were arranged. Today, I'll be explaining how the consists began to evolve as more passenger cars returned from being refurbished. For more context, please see the previous episode. Right on cue! Before we begin, I want to stress beforehand that these consist recreations seen in the series might not be 100% accurate and should only be taken as a generic recreation to give a general idea of how each consist would be made up. There would also be slight variations one way or another, which we'll see in future episodes. I will also be adding a caption at the bottom of the video denoting which direction the train will be going, whether it be north or southbound. As stated last episode, passenger cars were not flipped for each trip. Now. On with the main event. Today, we're focusing on mid-1972 to mid-1973 specifically. When Pullman Standard completed more and more refurbished passenger cars, Autotrain could begin running longer consists to keep up with the passenger demand. Save for a minor setback in December of 1971, the arrangement of passenger cars remained consistent. The first change to the consist would be relatively minor in comparison to future changes, with the kitchen dormitory and movie buffet cars being moved to the rear. An additional movie buffet car was added between the coach and sleeper sections, however. Soon, with increasing ridership, auto trains sought to add more passenger cars to the roster, and in mid-1972 came their first new acquisitions. Seven former Western Pacific California Zephyr Vista Dome coach cars. Like with the other passenger cars, these would also be refurbished both externally and internally, and be given the new nickname Mini Dome. These cars were divided into two series. Cars 460 to 463 were regular coaches, while cars 740 to 742 were equipped with children's entertainment sections. Sadly, at the time of recording this, no media or information regarding this configuration is known. It should also be noted, that in later years, 472 would be renumbered into 464. Right before this, Autotrain had also received their sleeper fleets back at last, albeit without a new coat of paint. They remained in their Union Pacific and Santa Fe paint for years, save for one Santa Fe sleeper getting a patch. With that out of the way, let's get into how the consist was rearranged in these years. The auto carriers remained up front, so nothing really new to point out here. However, the steam generator car would be moved in front of the coach section. One not in the know could easily mistake it for a traditional baggage car. The coach section would be split at this time, so we'll start off with the first coach section. Comprised of the full dome coaches and dormitory cars, there were usually around three to five total. More often than not, three. Next, the food service section, which had been moved back to the middle of the consist, with the kitchen dormitory car sandwiched by two movie buffet cars on either end. Depending on which section you were in, these were known as either Purple Plum or Lemon Tree Buffet Cars. After that came the second coach section, with a full dome nightclub and another full dome coach. Right after the full dome coaches, however, you would have two mini dome coaches, which you have the 460 series first, and then the 470 series trailing right behind it. And lastly, the sleeper section. More often than not at this stage, there would be around three to five sleepers, all a mix of former Union Pacific 522 and Santa Fe 442 sleepers. Very briefly, the least Union Pacific 11 double bedroom sleepers were used in tandem with the 522 sleepers as well. Just like last time, we'll let the train run past the camera to give you an idea of the consist in full. As a personal side note, this consist arrangement is my second favorite. And with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, be sure to visit our website, and we hope to see you next time when we discuss how the consist evolved when even more acquisitions would be made. Until then, see you next time!